What's going on guys? Today I bring you some new Destiny 2 news, so let's get into it. Okay, so at a recent NVIDIA panel at Gamescom, it was confirmed HDR support for Destiny 2 PC players. Now this would no doubt make the graphics gap between PC and console versions of the game even bigger. We already know the game will run up to 4K, will have uncapped frame rate, FOV slider and 20 by 9 ratio support. They also confirmed SLI support, which is good news for those using multiple GPU configurations. Destiny 2's PC beta is due next weekend and Nvidia already revealed they'll have an optimised driver ready. Now this is great news for PC players, Nvidia is helping port to PC, which will offer support for high dynamic range displays before it's available on consoles but to be honest this was expected when it comes to running games at high spec i don't think anyone including console players can complain when it's announced a game on multiple platforms will look and perform better on top end pcs and you can't blame bungie for taking advantage of this either at the end of the day if bungie thought consoles were powerful enough they would push the boundaries but that isn't the case okay so moving on now you can now pre-install destiny 2 on your xbox if you've pre-ordered digitally playstation users will be able to pre-install on august 31st i have made a guide on how to do this which can be found linked within the video description if you're confused about the matter Okay, so next up we have more details on the weekly nightfalls within Destiny 2. Now in the Destiny 2 news video I posted about a week ago, I mentioned that nightfalls will now be timed events. So for instance, you'll have 20 minutes to complete a nightfall. If you fail, you have to restart from the very beginning. Now in that video I spoke about how I preferred nightfalls like they were in year 1. If you die, you have to restart from the very beginning of that strike. Bungie introduced checkpoints into Nightfalls within year 2, which in my opinion took most of the excitement out of them. Now this screenshot, which is from a while back, was recently shared with me on Twitter, which reveals a few things about Nightfalls not many people picked up on at the time uh, this screenshot was taken due to lack of information on certain points. Now we do know now more about Nightfall so it makes sense to bring this image back up and discuss it. So this screenshot does show a few interesting bits of information. The first thing I noticed was in fact the time limit. Here it states 45 minutes, that I'd expect to change depending on the Nightfall strike and maybe even the difficulty selected. Also notice as well it states Nightfall pass required, next to it stating 10 remaining. Now speculation on what these passes mean is absolutely crazy, yet I believe it's either one of two things, simply like a sigil you need to take part in the nightfall, maybe bought from a certain vendor or earned somehow, or it's somehow associated with guided games where you play with a random team to complete an activity. It makes sense that maybe you get these passes per week and they become void if you back out of said activities halfway through. This in turn stops people backing out while helping others. Maybe the pass doesn't void if you complete the nightfall in a said guided games team. Another thing I noticed here which is great news and that is it states no checkpoints. This really makes me excited to play and try solo nightfalls again within year 2. I love them days. We also see two modifiers here, Momentum and Time Warp. Now it's important to state this image is pretty old considering. These modifiers could have changed 10 times over, but if you would like to speculate on what they might be, let me know down below in that comment section. Okay, so we're going to move on and talk about a leak on Reddit which dropped a few days ago, but it was removed not long after. Luckily, people took screenshots, which is awesome. Okay, so this leak was regarding a final update for Destiny 1, which added two new missions, which led us into Destiny 2. Let me read you guys through the entire info and then give you an opinion on it. On Friday, September 1st at 10am PST, there will be an update for Destiny. It will be a relatively small update as it contains a small bit of content. No patches, fixes or tweaks to environments or weapons. Content will be accessible for everyone through a cost. Content are as follows. One epilogue video for Destiny 1 which will be 4 minutes 9 seconds long. One epilogue video for Destiny 2 which will be 3 minutes 42 seconds long. One live action trailer for Destiny 2 which will be 1 minute 49 seconds. And two story missions leading into the beginning events of Destiny 2. They go on to state, no new weapons or armor. A Destiny 2 themed armor set, two unspecified consumables have been scrapped from this update. Would have been an Eververse exclusive set for all three classes and consumables. Sparrow will be obtained upon completing mission one, imminent invasion. Ghost shall 
will be obtained for completing mission 2, Guardians Down. Ghost Shout is a damaged version of the Explorer Shell with flickering lights and a cracked screen with the ability to be infused into 400 lights. It will collect glimmer from all enemy races excluding Guardians in the Crucible. Sparrow is at a max speed of 170 and is a legendary version of the Sparrow S10 with a smoking effect coming from engine and thrusters. Mission Descriptions Mission 1 Imminent Invasion Race across a soon to be ravaged Cosmodrome after you've learned about an incoming threat. Mission 2 Guardians Down Revive a fallen Guardian and fight off a fleet of Red Legion on a reconnaissance mission outside the tower. They go on to state three or four weeks ago there was intent on posting this info uh, into Bungie's weekly update blog uh, but they've kept quiet on it since. Now here's my opinion on this. Now for sure this could be legit or could have been legit. It does sound like something Bungie would do but I highly doubt this is real. This in my opinion just seems to be someone's wishful thinking and while the missions being added would kind of make sense I believe such things would be left for the sequel. Now I know this kind of thing could be made to give a Destiny 1 player a better intent of getting Destiny 2 as it leaves such players who don't plan on paying for a sequel with a scenario of thinking well what happens next that would make sense but again this in my opinion is just wishful thinking as much as I would welcome it into the game let me know what you think about this down below in that comment section. Bungie themselves did comment on this leak stating the following. AJ Greenwell on Twitter asked these the following. Can you confirm or debunk the rumour regarding content leading to Destiny 2 being added into Destiny 1? Deej replied with Age of Triumph was described on many occasions as the last update to Destiny. That was our victory lap and our curtain call. So there you have it guys. Now a lot of this information was given to me by a friend of mine, PTT, whose channel can be found linked in the video description. He also covered this news a few days back as soon as it dropped. So check him out and show him some love. But guys, there we have it. On that note, I am ending the video. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, hitting that like button really does help out. Subscribe if you're new around here and I will catch you on that next one.